All right, folks, thanks for your interest in our ankle medical kit. It's what I carry every single day of my life, unless I'm wearing shorts. Don't wear these with shorts because you're super nerdy. We have a much longer video that details all kinds of stuff on this. The general idea of this video there isn't to tell you everything about it that we can. Instead, it's to give you a couple quick tips that people are having uh, trouble with understanding. Number one is the kit is not bulky. It is super skinny and you could literally just wad this up. It weighs very, very very little and it's really the contents itself that becomes a point of bulk so as soon as you add on bulky contents now you have bulk so you are free to put as little or as much in these as possible but understand if you put a beach ball in yours it's gonna look like a beach ball plus a little ankle medical kit so the idea is is to carry something that is livable this is mine and you'll notice that it is extremely thin right here it is not bulky at all and it's not very heavy either there's one piece that makes this heavy when i put it in that is my leatherman tool and as soon as i take this multi tool out i, I designed the scissors compartment so that it was big enough so that i could carry a leatherman it's a big piece for me but anyway sometimes when i just don't want that weight or i'm walking a long time i'll take that out and now it is super light so again it doesn't have to be bulky another way that you can make these so that they're very easy to conceal and not bulky is by stacking your content so it's as thin and tall as you can so if you have a cat tourniquet the idea is to make the cat look like that and then you'll put it in uh, so it's really tall and if you have a difficulty keeping it in this one goes over a soft tee the soft tee which is also sold on our website is uh, skinnier than the cat and so it works very well and the cat works just like the soft tee both are extremely good uh, tourniquets so anyway I go just my uh, soft T right there and I try to make it as tall as I can if you needed to you could take these straps and go around like this this works really well on the cat itself where it can basically catch on the lip of this piece right here go over the top and then go in so it doesn't have to go all the way over the top so that's uh, one piece of advice then you have your trauma shears and then the next you come to uh, the this pouch which usually this is where you could put something like a four inch ETD on our website there's there's a chance for you to get a packet of goodies. Uh, one of the things that comes in the packet of goodies is this four inch ETD. It's part of a pressure dressing where you could take gauze, which also comes in it, pack a wound, and then you take this ETD and wrap the wound. So it's got basically, here's, here's where you got injured, you pack that full, and then you take this ETD and you wrap it around. Uh, in a field expedient environment, I could use a you know, I really need some type of gauze, but I could use a t-shirt or anything to wrap it around. So what I've done in my personal is I ditched the ETD. Instead of going the gauze, I ditched my gauze as well and went to more of an advanced uh, hemostatic agent. This right here is our combat quick clot. It's also on our website. And I basically put one of those inside this pouch right here. Uh, I've also got like a passport card and a spare credit card I put in there just to, for some ED, uh, EDC stuff. Then my chest seals, these are the chest seals. And again, you don't want to fold them over, which may hurt the chest seals, the ability to seal just a little bit. I like to keep them upright and as tall as I can, but I can fold it over so that the dead space is right there. And then I can fold over the excess. So now this will nicely fit inside there. It won't add bulk. It's going to be extremely skinny. And now I'll just run this up and over and also put my NPA, which is part of your kit in there. In the sides, you can put whatever EDC items you want in there. I've got lock pick sets, cash, uh, Benadryl, Excedrin, all kinds of stuff, earplugs, because I got, I always like earplugs. Anyway, it's not sweating, it's not filling up and getting really hot. It is a perishable item, so just like you, you didn't buy a pair of shoes and expect them to last forever. If you got heavy wear, one day you will have to replace it just like you replace a pair of shoes. Anyway, guys, that's down and dirty. If you want the full video, I'm going to give you a link down below. You can definitely check those out. But thanks for tuning in. And if this is a good fit for you, we appreciate your business. See you guys.